come back to further solutions academy further solutions academy I encourage us more to share our video and also subscribe if you have not subscribed before just press on your subscribe button we have a lot of videos for you to play around with you know we have close to 300 videos on our channel uh, you know, above 300 videos on our channel, it means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice. Mathematics, very much for you. Physics, also there for you. And chemistry, you know, any of this, you are good to go. Any exam you want to write, you pass with this channel, we have no problem. Just in case you want to reach us, you can reach us with this line. Just in case. With this line, you can do three things with this. You can call us and uh, you can WhatsApp us, and also Telegram is allowed. That of the three, we are good to go. And um, presently, we, we can also have a physical class if you want to. As far as you are within Nigeria, we are good to go. And online class also, anywhere you are in the world, you can meet us on Google Team and uh, other platforms. So, Okay, on this video, I'll be walking you to on um, stationary waves. Now, the outline of this video are the first one, the definition of stationary waves, examples on them also. Example on... Okay, now, uh, by the end of this video, you understand all this. But the definition, I have to come down and explain it very well without no problem. The first thing when we're talking about the definition of a wave, we have to understand what is called node and anti node. Now, okay, before I move on, let me quickly explain. A stationary or standing wave is a wave that is formed. When two progressive, progress, progressive, progressive waves of equal, um, equal frequency, equal frequency, and Amplitude, amplitude, traveled, traveling, traveling in opposites, opposite direction. Um, are combined. Combined, combined. That is what is called. Now, when you talk about um, stationary waves, it means two things. Things will be happening. The first one, you must be. There must be two waves, and they are moving on the opposite direction. It means one is moving like this, the other one is moving like this. Before you watch this video, please make sure you watch our previous video on. Uh, wavelengths and other things now if means two waves they will be working on the, on the same amplitude i mean the same wavelength and you know the same frequency it means one is bumping and the other one is bumping like it now when they meet that is what i mean by what um stationary wave in the more let me put more light um okay now it means uh stationary also wave consists of node and and anti node anti how do I spell anti anti node that is wavelength for you now it means it consists what node and what anti node now these are the things that really really matters when we talk when we are talking about what stationary waves now when we talk about node let me quickly explain node a node a node 
is a point on a on the stationary waves there is no um, movement there is no movement of the medium of the medium now that is what is called why the other one which is anti -nod, the anti -nod, anti -nod. now when we talk about anti -nod, it means anti -nod just like um when we talk about anti -nod, it means is the point on the stationary weight this is a point on a stationary wave this is a point on the what on the stationary waves where 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 um where there where there is a where there is maximum maximum displacement where there is a maximum displacement of the medium of the medium now that is what is called uh, uh, dictionary waves now please I've explained not and and these two things are very important as far as this video is concerned and this topic is to concern not and what anti not now when we okay for the stationary waves listen to me for the stationary waves think for the stationary waves now for the stationary waves um for for a stationary waves my english language sorry about that for a stationary waves the following the following applied now which is the first thing we need to understand here is that we'll be talking about number one we'll be talking about distance between north and the next anti north please distance between north distance between north and it and um and the sorry and the anti north distance between north and anti north okay um Yes, and the anti -nod. and the next, sorry, let me put the word next anti -nod there. Next anti -nod, it will be N, which is the knot, minus A, minus A, which in form of lambda, it means lambda all divided by what? Four. It means lambda all divided by what? Four. Now, the next thing I want us to understand here is that uh, this time between the successive knot, or anti not this time between this time between successive not not now this time between successive not and um the time between successive nodes let me put it will be equals to n minus n or anti not also anti not will be anti not we also be um um and that will be what a minus a a minus a which is equals to they are equals to lambda all over two please take note of this very very important now the last thing i want us to understand here also i need you to write up 
remove the outline. Okay. And another thing I want us to understand at this point also, um, distance between distance between three successive nodes, which is it will be equals to a node node or anti node. B equals to E minus E minus E, which is equals to what? Lambda. That is just it. Now, with all what I've been explaining since, let me quickly explain, I mean, try to put diagram to explain this part. Now, okay, if I have something like this, um, Permit me to rub the whole body because I have to. Sorry, take note of this information. They are very, very important. We have node, we have anti node, we have. A, okay. Now, let me draw a very long line because I want to use to explain something that is very important to this video. Now, the next thing I want us to know, I've explained that stationary wave involves two wavelengths that has equal frequency and amplitude. Please take note of that. It's very, very important. It means if I have the first one, uh, one, this is one, this is Two, one, two, point five. Okay. Now I have another one this way. Oh, that's very good. That's what I want to explain. Now, don't forget there are two wave. One is moving like this. This is one, and this is two. Now, okay. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, from here, let me use my red marker to illustrate this. I have from here to here, we call it a. Uh, Lambda divided by two. That's what I was explaining in the other time. Lambda divided by two. Why from here? From here to here, which is we have what? How many nodes are we talking about? We are talking about three nodes now. It means when we are talking about three nodes, it becomes what? One amplitude. I mean one wavelength. That's what I was explaining in the other time. And the last part of it, which I will be also be, let me quickly get a uh, one quarter of this. It means it will be like from here. Sorry, my hand is not straight. I'm sorry about that. Now, from here to here, we call it what? Which is going to be one knot, which is going to be lambda all over what? Uh, all over four lambda all over four and mind you from here to here also we have it as lambda all over two lambda all over two can you see what i'm trying to explain this is all about stationary words wait now how many nodes are we talking about here we're having three nodes here it means it become a word one node one uh, wavelength and this also we are talking about what two and so on and so please try to understand what i'm trying to say here it's very very simple and this is very very simple now let me quickly go to the example under this part example under this part so that you can really understand this part very very well
Now, I have example of this form. Look at this question. The wave length of a stationary wave is 36 point centimeter what is the distance distance in north and the next and anti not the next anti not which anti not okay we are having something like this it means solution to this one is very straightforward it's very very what very very straightforward what i just to need to do here is that uh, we are talking about the wavelength of a stationary wave is 36 it means the wavelength itself is 36.0 centimeter now distance distance between the um a node and next um anti node anti node Anti not sorry and C not which is gonna be it means I will be talking about what next anti not it means next anti not is one divided by four lambda which is which it implies one all over four multiplied by thirty six which is given to us which I will be having in my answer will be equals to nine centimeter. That is all. That is my answer. My answer is nine centimeter. Can you see it's very, very straightforward? Let me quickly show another example. Look at this question. A wavelength. A uh, wave of frequency ten Z forms a stationary wave pattern is a medium where the velocity is 20 centimeter per second <laughs> okay 20 centimeter per second the distance the distance Between adjustments nord is question mark. Now, when you have something like this, it's very, very important to understand the question by solution. Very, very important to understand the question. The first thing you need to understand in this question is that the frequency is given, which is 10 AZ. Now, the velocity also given, which is going to be what? Speed. We have it as um, 20 centimeter per second. Very important. And we're told that our wave, which is, I mean, our speed, which is the velocity, will be equals to lambda multiplied by it means my lambda it will be equals to of what of frequency since i have that it means i consider my lambda equals to 20 divided by 10 here we cancel which i'll be having my lambda which is wavelength it will be 22 
2.0 centimeter. 2.0 centimeter. Now, I can now say that adjustment speed now will now be um how do I get my adjustment speed speed? It means the adjustment speed distance between distance between adjustment um adjustment um not will be equals to will be equals to now it means lambda divided by two which is it will be equals to two divided by two which i will be having it in form of what uh one one centimeter that is the distance yes it's one centimeter yes adjustment pattern. yes it's one centimeter that is just the answer and this is very very simple very very simple now let me try to show another example of this pattern now look at this question radio wave emitted from an hey, this is too much getting up more than half of the way of the world a peak up by a radio after reflection from an ear crash in four ten is power three seconds. How far? How far is the aircraft? Aircraft in I mean from from the antenna. What we need to do here is that uh, we have the first thing we need to understand here is that um, our time and whatever you are given here, you have to understand the question very well. Solution to this question. Now, what I need to do here is that um, I have the first thing. What are the thing? Okay, taking your velocity v equals to three. Multiply by 10 raised power 3 meter per seconds. Now, since I have my velocity and you are looking for how far, it means you are looking for the distance. Now, you are looking for the distance. Now, the next thing you need to understand here is that um, you need to understand that um, it means I'll be having t equals to what? Um, 1 all over 2 bracket of. 4 multiplied by 10 is for 3 which is I'll be having it to be equals to 2 10 minus 3 seconds 2 minus 3 seconds now since I know that the time divided into this will now be what uh, now the time the time is divided into two because because the width was reflected the width was reflected now it means distant equals to wave, I mean velocity, multiplied by what? By time. Which is, I'll be having it in form of velocity multiplied by time, which is going to be 2 
multiply by 10, 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power, multiply by what is our time, which will be 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power, 3. Now, since I know this, it means I'll be having, okay, yes. Now, since I know this, it means I'll be having it in form of what? We have 6 multiplied by 10 raised to power, 10 raised to power, uh, 10 raised to power, nothing, or not, which is going to be like that. That is the time you, you can now convert this if you want to convert it, which is going to be a very simple thing. You can see that it's very simple. Don't forget you are home with further solutions, academic. I encourage us to share our video and also subscribe if you have not subscribed before just press the subscribe button once again thanks for watching